Hi, this is David Gilroy from Conscious Solutions. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a sponsored LinkedIn in-mail campaign that you can use for recruiting people into your business. I'm going to start from the standard LinkedIn screen and under work in the top right hand corner, I'm going to go to advertise. Now I've already got an advertising account set up, so all I have to do is click on manage ads and I'll go straight to my accounts page. You would have to go through an account creation section here, up top right, create ad account, and then put in credit card details and those kinds of things. I have already done that, so I'm gonna go straight through to my campaign manager, and top right, I'm gonna go click on create campaign. So there are three types of advertising options in LinkedIn. One is promoting content, uh, one is driving traffic from the desktop, from uh, text ads, and then the other one is sponsored email. That's what I'm going to use, so I click on select. And then the next job here is to give the campaign a name. So I'm going to use uh, Web Developers Near Bristol, and I'm going to send people to my website. I've got the option of collecting leads straight from LinkedIn, but in this case I'm going to use this top one, and I can do next. The next job then is to uh, choose who the email is coming from. Here I suggest you use the person who uh, is doing the direct hiring. Now in this situation you need to make sure that each of these people has been set up as a administrator on your company page and then you will need to add sender. And if I click on add sender I can select a person's name. So in my case I could search on Andrew Gray so it's going to search my connections. I can select them and it will send them an automatic email asking them to give me permission to add them here as a sender. Once I've done that, I can select them from this list here and I can put in a sponsored in-mail ad name. And I'm just going to repeat web developer here. This is the name of the advert. You could create multiple adverts. I'm almost certainly just going to create one uh, as it's a relatively simple campaign. So I click on next. So here I've got the screen where I can create the email. What I do first is I'm going to go to a Word file where I've pre-written the email. I'm going to copy the subject line and then I can paste that in. And then I'm going to go and get the body text and it's going to be pasted into here. So I just get the body text from the file and I'm going to copy that. And I'm going to paste that into here as well. Now, some of the formatting gets a little bit messed up because I've copied from Word and um, uh, LinkedIn is trying to do what it can. Notice it's taken out one of my hyperlinks, so I just need to go and fix that. And um, I'll just tidy up this email one second to get it looking decent. And it's uh, fabulous new offices there, as you can see, should, should have been a hyperlink. So I'm going to go back to my Word file and I'm going to um, select that hyperlink. I think I can just copy that. There we go. And then select that. And this is the hyperlink tool. And I'm going to paste that into there. And then I get the top here where I've got question marks. I'm going to just change that to have a custom field. So in here I can put first name. So it's going to say, hi, John, and it will fill in their first name. Um, then I can have a custom footer for terms, options, conditions, or disclaimers. I'm actually not going, to get, not going to do that. So I choose next. And the landing page now is going to be the job vacancy. So if I, uh, I put it in the body of the email as well, uh, I've just realized, so I'm probably going to go back and, and change that slightly. But let me come back to uh, the previous screen um, so I can take the link out of the body of the email. I've forgotten that it puts that at the end. It's a while since I last did this. So I choose next and I can put the landing page into there with a call to action that says, um, maybe I'm interested. Um, so and then I can put a banner creative if I want to I'm, I'm actually not going to bother to do that so I choose next and now it's saved the advert okay so I could create lots of different emails if I wanted to um, 
but again, as this is just a straightforward recruitment campaign, I'm just going to start with that single one. I click on next here, and now I need to create an audience. Um, now, in this case, I'm not going to use matched audiences. That's where I could put in email addresses or uh, website segments or anything else. What I'm going to do is I'm going to tar target by audience, and I'm going to put in um, location. So in here, I want to start with Bristol, and then I'm going to put other major conurbations that some people do travel from to come work in Bristol. So I could put as many as I like here, maybe going to extend these, because what you have to remember is uh, not all um, geography, so here I'm trying to type in Western Supermare, and you can see that doesn't show up, so it's, it, it's limited in terms of exactly which geographies will, will show up here, so I can choose Gloucester for example, but if I try and put Newport, which is uh, between Bristol and Cardiff, that also shows up as well. Um, I think that's enough geography. And notice up here, it's saying, <laughs> reckons I've got a million people in those geographies. Um, I don't know, is that true? I think if I add up all the populations, it's possible. But what I'm going to do now is I can choose company size, industry, uh, and this might be specific for you if you're doing this your law firm. You can almost certainly put the company industry as law. Um, I'm actually going to specify by job title because web developers could be in a whole range of different industries. So what I'm going to start by putting in here is web developer. And notice it's giving me lots of other different options. Now, unfortunately, with LinkedIn, you have to put these in one at a time. But it's got me some suggestions here. So I can choose lots of different ones from here. Um, and I can choose all of these different options. Um, and I'm specifying this for current roles because if they're not doing this job already, and notice that here on the top right, it's already given me 2,000 people. Okay, so what I can do is just put that phrase in again because I'm sure there were some others. I'm going to pick junior web developer. Um, and I've got PHP developer, I can put that in as well. Uh, junior software developer, lead web developer, freelance web developer. Uh, I had that one in there already. So uh, let me just type in website developer and see if that gives me something different. Yes, it does, so I can use that one. Um, I'm not going to put in a, a generic software developer. Uh, I think that will give me too many people who are just pure software and not necessarily web. Although I've got web software developer, which I don't think I had in there before, which I don't. And again, it's given me 3,000 odd people. So I'm going to leave, I've got senior web developer and I've got web application developer, which I already have in there. Um, I think I have PHP already, yeah. So that is how I set up the audience. I've got 3,000 odd people in there. Um, and then I can put in a whole range of other options if I wanted to. Um, in this case, I'm going to leave all of those blank. And I'm just going to choose next. And now I can choose my budget. So in here, you'll see I can set up the bid type, which is cost per send. So that's going to be... Um, it's the only bid type here. Sometimes LinkedIn gives you others. Here I've got my daily budget. I'm going to actually set this to um, £15. Actually, I'm going to set it to £30. And my bid there is 31 pence. That's 31 pence for each time it puts the email in somebody's inbox on LinkedIn. Right. So if I set my budget to £30, it's going to get close to 100 inserts a day. And I'm going to start immediately. Now, notice LinkedIn is a bit, a bit sneaky here. It's hiding the end date's total budget and those kinds of things. So I'm going to set the end date initially to be this coming Friday. In fact, I'll set it to Sunday. I'll give myself a whole week. I'm not going to put the total budget because it's going to be £30 times seven days. And I've just got one click. So I'm not doing uh, ad rotation. So I don't need to worry about that. Now I can immediately go launch campaign. And that will set the campaign ready to be approved by LinkedIn. OK, so notice at the moment it says creative in review. Then I'm going to check that the text is OK. Uh, no bad images are being used, those kinds of things. OK, so that will go live generally within 24 hours um, if you're setting this up between a Monday and a Friday. So that's how easy it is to set up a LinkedIn sponsored in-mail campaign. 
Now what you'll find is if I go back to campaign performance, hopefully I'm going to get the same kind of performance I got for my business development manager job. So if I go into this uh, campaign here uh, for business development manager, you'll see that um, I had a similar type of email. Uh, the advert went live just before Christmas. It reached an audience of 5,000 people up here at the top. There were 301 sends, 237 opens, almost 80%, 138 clicks. I either came to the job spec or looked at our offices. We had 10, or 10 to 12 responses in LinkedIn. We had three telephone conversations and we took on one person for the princely sum of £60 and 20p. So by all means, I think it's a pretty successful way of hiring people. So I hope that was pretty simple to follow. If not, go back to the beginning uh, and follow it again. If I've missed something out, please feel free to let me know by email. This has been David Gilroy from Conscious Solutions. I hope you find this useful.